to the truck and journey I'm trucker Jim I am coming to you from a rest stop in Alabama it's a little after 7 a.m. and it's pretty daggum chilly knocking on the door of freezing I would say because there's frost but how was that drone footage it was not as good as it was supposed to be I'd stopped at the entrance and flew the drone up in the air and was trying the audio auto tracking so it would you know follow the truck well I forgot to hit record <laughs> on it and it didn't follow me very good as soon as I cut the curve it um it stopped following me so as I got up here I had to bring it a little closer and well that's the footage that you guys saw but I have not eaten anything since well sometime last night but that is about to change yes sir because we got some ingredients laid out and it starts with eggs or should I say egg but now we've got first we're gonna dash it with a little pink Himalayan sea salt and then what do you think a little fresh ground coarse pepper of course right little this next part justifies you watching this video and it's called pepper Doos. you can get these off the olive bar at your better grocery stores but I've got one pepper do and I've cut it up we're gonna Put a few pieces of it on our egg. Oh, those are so beautiful. Pepidus are great. They've got a little bit of kick, but they're sweet at the same time. We're gonna throw us some cheese on here. And look at that. Very easy to make. And a very good idea to eat. Mmm. But as far as food in the truck goes, I'm pretty hooked up. There's a lot of stuff in here. I mean, I've got avocados, guacamole, my fancy hydroponic lettuce. There's some blueberries. I got some kale from the garden back home. Olives, chicken salad, lunch meat, and then, and of course there's butter in there. You don't even have to ask. Truck Gym keeps butter. But the freezer's full, got some chicken, Got some fish, got some vegetables. I've got coffee, I've got water. So what, what I'm saying guys, is there is no need, none whatsoever, to be eating truck stop food. No sandwiches, no tacos, that's the goal for this week. But I started out this morning, which is Tuesday at about 1.30 in the morning, with the goal by the time Saturday at midnight gets here, I will be over 3,000 miles and for it to add up to over 3,000 miles I got to do a little better than going to Laredo and coming back because that's only about 2,600 miles but this load is not going to Laredo it's going to Houston but this is my clock doing a 30 minute break right now but this is a remaining amount of my fresh clock I started with this morning drove almost 370 miles before taking a break and got almost five hours of drive time remaining with over seven hours to do it in. So we're in good shape. Should be shutting down sometime around noon today in Louisiana. So what you guys can expect in this video and probably the next couple is some cooking going on right back here in the sleeper berth. That's right, cooking in the truck out on the road. And uh, you'll probably see some rest stops and some drone footage. You guys like drone footage, right? Well, give a thumbs up if you want some more. But it's time to get back trucking. And we have made it to the Hammond Yard in Louisiana. There's not a lot going on here. I don't see any other drivers. There's two other trucks besides myself. But this is a halfway point between Greer and Laredo. So I had a 666.6 mile day today. But I got some fish and some veggies cooking in the lunchbox cooker, so I'll have that soon. I'll be sure to show it to you guys. Hey, you guys want to see a magic trick? Check this out. I'm going to snap my fingers, disappear into the truck. All right. A little trucker teleportation. But speaking of the truck, let's check on our food in the truck. check our food being careful not to break the clip on the lunchbox cooker 
this should be ready. So here we go, a vegetable melody and a salmon fillet cook right here in the truck. I cooked this a little longer than it needed to be. It was in there a little over an hour. Not too bad. It'll be better next time. You guys are going to be ashamed of me. I came over here to get some ice in my cup, right? And I left with ice in my cup and a corn dog and a meat pie. After my fish, my vegetables, my meat pie, and my corn dog, I should be able to get some sleep. Hey, birdie. Wednesday morning. I'm a little over 100 miles from my delivery in Houston. And I'm stopping to fuel up. I'm at a Love's. I would be curious to know the ratio of the drivers that are still getting out with their fuel cards or Love's cards and their little notepad with their trip numbers and hub miles and all that on there and punching it in the pad or that's using the app. I prefer to use the app. And the app I am referring to is the Love's app. You just open it up. It works with GPS, so it's gonna know our location. But from the home screen of the Loves app, we'll just go down here to Loves Pay. Works with Face ID. It's gonna find the location we're at. Boom, there it is, number 362. My fuel card and my Loves card are already saved inside, so let's get started. We are at pump 21. We're gonna get diesel and depth. The app allows you to put in all the information you would normally do at the pump. And if you need oil or washer fluid, I guess you can get that. That's never really worked right for me. If you need a receipt, it'll let you pick that up inside. Begin fueling. Now, when we get out of the truck, it says remove nozzle. Boom, it's ready to go. to do this now but you can also schedule your showers right from the app it's way better than having to wait in line or go to the kiosk you just set it up on your phone it pops your door code we'll show that in an upcoming video i don't know if you can tell how very large all of these tires are but they are big really big especially that one Just to give a little perspective, the hole is bigger than me. But those go on earth movers is what I've always heard are, are freaking monster trucks.
going to wrap up this video. It went a little longer than I intended. And I know somebody's going to give me a hard time about this video being clickbait. But hey, it works. You're here. If you're not subscribed already, now is the time. If you think you subscribe, check. Maybe unsubscribe, subscribe again, and hit the for notifications. But until next time, and I tell you guys, next time is going to be an awesome video. I already know what I'm going to do. I'm going to fly the drone up and I'm going to get it walk me walking into Love's to take a shower. Maybe even some slow motion shower footage. But there's a rest stop leaving Laredo and you guys be the judge, but I really believe a group of very talented Mexican architects put this rest stop together. And we're going to stop there and get some epic drone footage. I hope this wind didn't make too much wind noise. I left my dad, dead cat at home. But I'll see you next time. But until then, be safe out there and keep on trucking.